Hello and welcome to the No Format Required first ever pubcast episode from my new pub shed. Yeah. Um, as always, joining me is Michael. Can't That's think of me. anything witty to say there. Should have prepared something. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I've got nothing prepared for our next recordings. Well, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this is the first maiden voyage, if you will, of the um, of the pubcast episodes. So as we discussed last week, week before, week before, yeah, um, two weeks ago, we said news. This was the news that Charlie was referring to. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, he's basically built a pub in his garden. I have. Well, I say I, like, I paid a company to do it, and then my dad's done the interior. <laughs> He's only like, sweat and blood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a bit of blood, actually, when I was painting the outside of it. Cause I of course, you, you do no building, and you bleed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're painting. <laughs> I tell you what, I painted, because there's, there's a very tight, um, like, the, the gap between the, the shed and the um, and the fence is, like, very small. And I was sort of going down there. I took my shirt off, because it was a dead hot day, Wait. thinking myself from something from Top Gun. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it was a really poor decision because I just got like, <laughs> it was like a nettle bush behind there, I got stung, oh, God. scratched all my arm. Um, yeah, so it wasn't, wasn't the best. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a four by three meter all like wooden shed. Um, I'm just trying to describe it. Obviously, you're not going to see it, but you sort of come in two double doors, windows either side of the double doors, sort of come in on the left, some sort of bar seating. Yeah. Um, which Michael is sat at, mm-hmm. so there's sort of a long bar seat in with a little table in the corner and then another seat where Michael sat. And then on the other side, where I'm sat, is the, uh, is the bar with a, with a little mini fridge that my dad built and put in, which has actually drilled a hole in the wall of the shed and sort of set it back and then made like a little box to go around it. So finishes it quite nice. Yeah. And we've been just discussing about the idea of um, TV or projector units or yeah. something. Yeah, it's just figuring out how to do it because the walls aren't particularly the most thickest as they're just like thin pieces of wood. So putting a big 43-inch telly at the side of it, I, I probably come back and there's a massive hole in my wall and TV smashed on the floor. So, um, yeah. Not ideal. No, not ideal. But, yeah, it's uh, it's st- not finished yet. It's still, I've, I've sort of painted the windows and doors like a grey, like a dark grey colour. So they just need a second coat. Um, and the and the uh, the chairs and the um, bar itself needs a, a second coat of the like a dark wood paint, like a dark dark oak. Describe it as just brown, brown. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but guys, there's only like seven colours: <laughs> white, brown, black. <laughs> well, actually, Mike, I'm gonna I'm just gonna open the window because I'm a bit warm. That's fine. Hopefully, it won't be too windy outside. First time opening the window. Well, that's made all the difference. Oh, Try open that one over there. Yeah, you can do. Um, okay. So yeah, hopefully we'll there'll be many other episodes. I, I might take a, I could take a picture of it and put it on yeah. social media when it's finished. Yeah, so, we'll do that. Look yeah. on our socials. Yeah, I'll uh, yeah. It, probably be a couple of weeks yet because there's still a few bits to do. I've still got the film on the windows, of the doors, and things, so it looks a bit grubby. Um, but yeah, once it's done, I'll I'll put a couple of a uh, couple of pictures up Sounds so you good. can all can see. So. Yeah, it's uh, say a bit of a work in progress. Now, the big question on everyone's lips: Yeah, has it got a name yet? Well, yeah, I've been sort of toying with a few a few names. Um, one of them was I was going to call it the. Oh, I keep I always keep forgetting it. Um, you, have you you've not watched Peaky Blinders, have you? No. The, ah, that's it. So, if, for anyone that's watched Peaky Blinders, there's the the pub that they always go in is called the Garrison. Um, because I'm a big Peaky Blinders fan. So I was debating that. Then I thought, well. I want something like original. Yeah. Um, so I'm sort of having a bit of play with my name. Um, so I have my middle name, which is Trevelyan, which is quite a uncommon name. So I've decided to go for the Trevelly Inn as or Travelling. The travel <laughs> Travelling. <laughs> not Travel Lodge. Well, we're Travelling. Well, that's Travelling Travel Lodge. Well, it'll be spelled slightly different. That's that's the name I've sort of gone with at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I like it. See, so, yeah, that's what that's the that's the plan. And then there was like, uh, what was the other one? I was looking, I was googling that quite like the uh, no, the stumble, stump, no, not stumble in. It was something drunk related, anyway. Stumble in, I get yeah. stumble in or something like that. Then the prancing pony, you know, that's from no, uh, from Lord of the Rings. It's you know, oh, the yeah, the first one, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was another one. But then as now I thought I want something original, so they're like kind of copying mm. something from a TV or film. Oh yeah, original is a good idea. I think the Trevelyan mm. is actually quite a good one. I've got um, 
part of the inspiration for this, one of uh, Lauren's mum and dad's friends, they've got a, a self-built bar in the back of their house called Berta's. Um, and it's basically made from an old five-a-side court um, because uh, the wife worked at a leisure centre and they were getting rid of this five-a-side court. So that's how it started. So all the wooden boards and stuff at the side, that's what oh, we used okay, to make yeah. it. Obviously, since then, they've extended it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's huge. It's got a massive kind of bar area with like TV on the wall, but it's got like a big outside bit. They've got full like fridges, like, you know, like fridge freezers like in there. And it's sort of, over the years, they've just sort of built it and extended it and extended it. Um, yeah, that, that, that is a sizable, sizable one. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, you that. made me very jealous of this. <laughs> um, well, you were, we were talking, because you, you came around literally just after it had been yeah, built, up, up, yeah. the other day, um, the day after, and you were saying your, what you would have done. What was it sort of like a... Like a... Um, a year, not a year, but a, What's the word? Like a... Um, ski lodge. Ski kind of lodge, yes, yeah, yeah. that's the word. Yeah, a ski lodge like type that. thing. Yeah. So I wouldn't have a bar behind it, but it'd be like a sort of like cosy... Yeah. Like more of a winter type bar, yeah, yeah, sort of thing. What, like a little sort of wood burner or something in the middle? Yeah, that'd, that'd be a cool idea. Yeah, but... that would be a good thing. Um, have you ever? There's a there's a place near us that does like shit, like luxury cabins and things. Is that the one by the tram? Yeah, have I've you ever... never been there, but I, it's... every time I walk past them, I want to go buy every one of them. Yeah, we, when we should go up one time and have a, yeah. have a walk around. I mean, like the ridiculously flash, you're probably looking from minimum of about five grand. But they have the ones where it's like you go in, sort of like a, like you see in like Mongolia or something like that, but they're sort of like a circular one. So all you can do is sit in there. There's no, you can't, you can't walk about or anything. There's just like, it's like a big circular seat. And then in the middle, there's like a kind of fire pit. Okay. Um, I would, I think if I was to design one or make one, it'd be more like a barbecue hut mm, type thing. Mm. So you went in there and like you could do the barbecue in there as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, that'd be good. What, would you have the barbecue actually inside or would you have yeah. that? Oh, okay. Yeah. I suppose you could just have like a pipe going out to vent the, yeah. the smoke and stuff like that. Or just live and breathe it. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it out at my barbecue books earlier today and I got a bit of um, OCD anger. Mm-hmm. I clicked, um, you know the barbecue brand Weber. I can't speak. Weber. Uh, no, I don't. They're probably like behind Big Green Egg and um, like the biggest, um, in fact, they're probably bigger than Big Green Egg. I've never even heard of Big Green Egg. Big Green Eggs are like these big sort of like, they look like a green egg. So ah, actually, okay. But they're really weighty ceramic type things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Weber do like, honestly, the most amazing barbecues ever. Okay. Um, if you're going to get a barbecue, make it Weber. Yeah. That'd be my advice if you wanted to like buy these and what. Are they like these gas, gas barbecues? Gas, coal, electric. Oh, they're they're good good electric? Mm-hmm. They could get electric barbecues. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I've been to numerous Weber courses as well. So uh, the best one I went to, they taught me how to make a um, donut burger. Oh, okay. So literally, it was made using um, a glazed donut. Yeah. And I was like, that'd be disgusting. I don't really fancy a glazed donut bun sort of yeah. thing with a, a meat burger inside. But oh my God, it was delicious. Surprising. Okay. So, But yeah, anyway, um, I used to collect, so unfortunately, I've discontinued them now. Um, they're what, magazines. Mm-hmm. Um so it's literally, it's a bit of a um, brochure for themselves. Yeah. But inside it's all sorts of wet, uh, tips and recipes and stuff. Oh, okay. So I used to collect them from garden centres. Yeah. And I've got the six, all six issues that there are. They gradually get thinner and thinner and thinner to the point that five and six don't actually have a spine. Mm. So it's, whereas the other ones have a spine, like, okay. so they're so much bigger. But it really stresses me out that one, two, and three yeah. all say in the middle, um, the year yeah. that it is, and at the top, grill on, because it's the grill on magazine. Yeah, yeah. But then number four, at the top is the year, and in the middle is grill on. And it's like, why have they done that? Yeah. It's so ill. Oh, I got so angry. <laughs> I was like, oh, I put it the wrong way around. It's like, oh, the arseholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't, I don't even know of any of them. Any of, then with the sweet buns, like, it's like a brioche bun. Like, again, that's not something that I would probably ever have. Well, we really eat bread by itself anyway. But You are right. Like, if I, if I have... um. A burger, it'll be in a brioche bun. Yeah, Lauren always, she always like will go for the brioche bun burgers kind of thing. That one I made you the other week. Yeah, oh, your yeah. Vision, that, yeah was a that, was, bun. that was really nice. And you've got little like like you get a sort of burger places. Oh yeah, little... I, made, I made it all professional. Yeah, in a yeah, box. Like, <laughs> a little cardboard box. Which I thought was really very impressive. But um, yeah, that was a nice one. But uh, I'm gonna make that. Ah, oh, probably text um my wife and tell her to get the mints out of the freezer. Oh, okay. You still at home because I'm going to make burgers tonight. But I'm going to um, I'm going to do the one that I made you, which was a chili burger. Yeah. Um, which had like what was it? Um, I'd made like a chipotle uh, cheese oh, sauce yeah, yeah. on the base. Yeah. And then um, 
it was obviously flavoured with uh, chilli. But um, I'll text, send this text in a minute because I'm getting distracted. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to make that, but I'm going to put it in like a, um, I'm going to squash it onto a wrap. Oh, okay. So literally just almost like super flat. Yeah. And then grill it. Yeah. Um, for like, what, a couple of minutes. Mm. Um, so it cooks. And then put um, a cheese slice on it, flip it over so that the cheese slice melts a bit. Yeah. And then fold it up like a taffy. Oh. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to give that a go tonight. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. We're, well, we're hoping to have a, a barbecue. We, we bought some stuff a few months, well, I say a few months ago, about a month ago, that we ended up freezing. So hopefully the weather's nice. I've, I've kind of managed to, I did my first barbecue since I've been here at this house. And I've been here for five years, which is quite bad, really. Uh, not my first barbecue, but my first barbecue where like things weren't cremated, if that makes <laughs> sense. Because I use a, I do like coal. Um, so yeah, I was, I was very impressed with myself because normally like some things really burn, or because you can't like regulate the temperature, can you? You with can a, with a with a coal. With <laughs> yeah, coal. you got it. Oh. Well, not with yours actually, because you haven't got a open top, have you? No. No, yeah, you can't regulate the temperature. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've sort of spread everything out to kind of and sort of put things nearer, closer to the thing. But oh, have you finished watching um, Barbecue Showdown yet? No, no, I've sure just watched that one, that oh, one episode. Really? Yeah, yeah. We've not. I've completely. To be honest, like, it's not because the other night me and Lauren were like, "Oh, what should we watch?" And we were like, "Yeah." And we ended, I think we ended up watching the new um, Secret Wars. We didn't realize Secret that was Invasion. On. Yeah, Secret Invasion. That's the one. I watched the first fifteen minutes and then I fell asleep. I got out of boredom. Oh. I was just so exhausted. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> But I've completely forgot because we'd, we'd watched it. I think was it the morning of that we'd been to the Sausage and Cider Festival? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I need to watch that actually. I might watch it in here. No, I've not. We've got it yourself. Into. Yeah, I might treat myself. Um, yeah, I um, really recommend it. Like, yeah, I think it was better than last year. Um, they helped the ante, and I preferred the host this year. Mm. Yeah, really enjoyed and the contestants. Really, really, the bromance that's formed between two of the contestants is you would never put those two as friends. In yeah, the real world scenario, yeah, yeah. But they became best friends. And like one of the, one of the quotes was, um, they said, one of them said to the other one um, during one of the rounds, like, um, I really w- wish it wasn't yours competing again. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Just because they become such friends. From the episode I watched, like, I did quite like it that they sort of, even though they're competing against each other, they sort of like try and help each other out where they can and things like oh, that. 100%. And, like, one of them, one of them was particularly getting a bit stressed and he was sort of saying, I think it was the one that won the first. So the one that won the first uh, round, he was sort of trying to calm another guy down because he was getting yes. himself a bit worked up, yeah. um, which I thought I quite like that. Because obviously, yeah, you've got a bit of healthy competition and things like that, but sometimes it's nice just to um, like, have help think, each other. And yeah, Again, another thing that happened later on, said I don't, like someone was struggling, so yeah. then someone else helped him out. Mm. And there was like, this is a competition. If you're not performing to your best, mm. I'm not going to feel happy if I defeat you. Like he was still being competitive. Like I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna win. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want to win because something has gone wrong for you that you couldn't help. Yeah. I want yeah. to beat you. Yeah. Because you've done your best, mm. and I can go away saying, "Yeah, I beat this fantastic barbecue." Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which was, yeah. yeah, really, it's a really good attitude. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be. The they all know that each other are fantastic. So if yeah. one of them performs badly because I don't know their poles went out, mm. some things can't be because it rains or something. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, um, I also watched this sh- another show that I'd recommend for you. Chef's Barbecue B- Barbe- uh, Chef's Table BBQ. Mm-hmm. Why can't I speak today? What is wrong with it? <laughs> it's still <laughs> early morning. <laughs> yeah. well, well, I say it's early morning for me, for you. Like I've happening. never said the word BBQ. Why was, did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Chef's Table Barbecue. Yeah. Um, but it focuses on this woman in Texas. Called what's, what's that on? Netflix. Oh, Netflix. Okay. Yeah. I've never watched any of the Chef's Table series, but they're meant okay. to be phenomenal. I'm like, really focusing on these fantastic chefs. Yeah, yeah. For various reasons. But the first episode was on this um, chef called um, Tootsie. Okay. She was an 85, or is. Mm. In fact, she's older now. She'll be 86, 87. 85 years at the time of recording Barbecue. Yeah. She used to get up at, um, I think it was one in the morning, mm. go to the barbecue restaurant, yeah. get, the bar- get the meat started and everything. Okay. Like, genuinely put us all to shame. And, like, the venture of this, um, I can't remember what the barbecue place is called now. Have I got it on here? No. Um, but her venture with, like, setting up this barbecue place, she didn't start it until she was in uh, 65 years old. Oh, really? She works as a um, janitor in a school. Yeah. And then also does this barbecue restaurant. God, how does she have fat time to sleep if it's she's insane. getting up at one like, in the morning? Genuinely, you watch it and you're like, this woman puts everyone in the world mm. to shame. 
which is fantastic. And everyone loves her. Like, she won all sorts of competitions. Um, it was a sort of, like, not that big barbecue place. And then it got featured in an article. Okay. And then the next day, they had queues of people. And they had to do, like, raffles for people to come in and get seats and oh, really? stuff. Because it's just so popular. Yeah, okay. I really recommend it. Like, me yeah. and Lauren were really, like, sort of riveted by sort of, like, this woman. She was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. Really inspirational story. Yeah. And she's had a, she's had a bit of a crappy life. and It's nice that she's done well for herself, yeah. like, from it kind of thing. Yeah. And by the sounds of it, it's down to her own hard work, isn't it? Like, mm. she's not she's not had no hands out. I mean, getting up at one in the morning while doing another job to then create a business. Because they say that, don't well, she they? She runs like? it alongside someone else. Apparently her husband died and she came in the next day. Really? Yeah, and she was like, well, what else am I going to do? I suppose people grieve in different ways yeah. and, like, yeah, like, it keeps you busy, doesn't it? And keeps you distracted i suppose but yeah i won't um, spoil like because in case people want to watch it because there are some things you're like wow mm. like bloody hell um but honestly like yeah inspiration to everyone okay good on your tootsie yeah fair play to her going back to barbecues um lauren's uh dad and like hold dad on and hold brother. on hold on going back to barbecues when well the whole conversation is, about barbecues. Go, going back to uh, like, actual barbecues <laughs> like as in when we were we were talking briefly about like branded barbecues going back to that that part of barbecues um lauren's brother is like ninja he, every like he bought a ninja kettle obviously the ninja fryer yeah for, i mean i assume well for those who don't know ninja it's a brand of Cook air fryer yeah, yeah cooking but now they're branching out but they do a barbecue oh, do they? and it's like five six hundred quid that's cheap what for a barbecue yeah the web really? the web is i'm talking about are like 1200 god i thought they are <laughs> okay fair enough but like, there are some cheaper ones like you can get if the, I think they're normal kettle ones, about 400 quid. Oh, okay. They're, they're big, sort of like, state of the art, um, Genesis. That's oh. their range. Um, the Weber Genesis. Okay. Uh, they come with this thing called, I can't think what it's called now, it's going to bug me. But basically, it's a Bluetooth thing that monitors all the meat inside it yeah. and alerts your phone. Oh, okay. So you can keep an eye on the internal temperature and stuff yeah. and regulate it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, it's like anything, isn't it? I suppose you can pay whatever like i was when i was just briefly looking at tvs from my pub shed there was i mean i've never seen tv that much but it was seven grand Fuck for yeah, a tv no. i think it was was it a sony i want to say it was a sony but i mean it had all like i mean i was like think it was like 5k or ol is that OL? oled yeah. yeah but i mean that is ridiculous like, even if i was a millionaire i'd spend seven grand on a telly like, that, that's ridiculous i mean obviously i'm nowhere getting that for them <laughs> <laughs> um deposit for a house that like. yeah but um I suppose, like, I mean, some of the ones when I was looking at this, there was some, yeah, I mean, you, you could get, I mean, this is like, a, I think it's classed as a summer house, um, but you can get like proper garden rooms built where they're sort of part brick, part wood, and they're all in. I mean, to insulate this, so I was like, oh, you're going to insulate it. And then I sort of looked how much, sort of this found a website and they sort of gave, sort of put you, had all the measurements of sheds and it tell you how much it would be to insulate. It, and it's about a grand. Yeah, so it's just a lot. I mean, would you like, just um, put a space heater inside during the winter? Yeah, I've got a space heater. So yeah, and my dad's got he's he's got a shed that he sort of works in. It's probably about half the size of this, and he'll work in it in the winter. And he has a little heater, and he says it gets dead warm in that. Um, yeah, so hopefully, but it's, I suppose I was like see how see how much you use it because yeah. I, I might not fancy going in in the winter anyway if it's too cold. I don't think you will use it. I think Lauren will be annoyed if you don't use it. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, especially going out to your bar. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> she might kick me out. I might have to move in. Um, I've, quite, I've, I've actually thought about sleeping in there once it's done, like just one night. Have but, a sleepover, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, I could have a sleepover. Um, yeah, I could get like a double... No, like no a, format sleepover. No format sleepover. <laughs> I could get like a double air bed in there. I was thinking like single, but... Oh, no, no. If we're going for a sleepover, Mike, double air bed all the way. <laughs> a bit tight on a single for both of us. <laughs> but... Uh, but yeah, what are you still doing with your um, like bar thing at the end of your garden? Or you, is it turning into... Like- it's, yeah, it's going to be a long work in progress. Um, just because, like, for example, today I changed the um, lock on my gate. And okay. that took about two hours because I was just continuously George, my mm. son, um, just doing things. It's like, George, yeah. why are you over there? George, can you come back here, George? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly he's like, slowly trying to make his way into the greenhouse. Yeah. And he's like, George, can you get out of the greenhouse? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that is difficult. So, yeah. Know. Are you still, what are you planning on doing? Because you said that, you, well, you're on about like the sort of bar thing at the end. Or yeah, I want to make it a bit of a kitchen type thing. Yeah, like a bar. bar kitchen. Yeah, okay. The big thing that I've done yesterday is I worked out how to get an irrigation system set up. Oh, um, in what, my, outdoor toilet? Not <laughs> um, To water all my plants. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so, so um, when my 
granddad died mm. many, many years ago now. Um, my dad was obviously going through stuff. My granddad, not my granddad, my grandpa, sorry, was a very avid gardener. Mm. Both my grandparents were avid gardeners, but my grandpa, like, incredibly avid, used to sort of like enter a competition for like Uxbridge and Bloom. Mm. Um, Famous for cheating at competitions as well. Oh, okay. Um, he once entered the longest run of bean contest at one of yeah. these, um, or uh, not what they're called now, but you know mm. these um, gardening events. He'd actually um, got three, got a uh, run of beans and stuck a toothpick in between each one, put them together. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it was, like super long. But he was known for that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. That's what he did. Oh, okay. But he was a very good gardener. Um, so, but my, yeah, my dad, um, when he was cleaning out the greenhouse, found all this irrigation system, like really expensive stuff in mm. there. That just hadn't been used. Okay. Um, and the dad was like, I'll take that home and set that up for my yeah. house. Um, never did. Okay. Just never ever used it. And I was saying a few weeks ago or a few months ago that um, I'd like to get that sorted because I've got quite a big garden with mm. a lot of plants and yeah, yeah. stuff in there. And I was like, it just like, it takes about sort of 20 minutes to water the whole thing yeah, yeah. at night. So I'd rather just be able to just so like, turn it on. on. And my dad was like, well, I've got some if you want it. Mm. So it's taken me a while to work out, but I think I finally sorted it. I need to buy some sprinklers. Okay. Because um, there isn't quite enough. Yeah. But it's like, oh, And then it just literally every evening for like eight minutes, it turns on. Well, Waffles. automatically, you don't yeah. even need to think on. Oh, yeah. Okay. I brought a um, hose splitter. Yeah. So I can literally have the tap turned on, mm. but then the hose splitter t- keeps it turned off. So it doesn't, so it's the same as having the hose off sort of thing. Is it electric? Like, is yeah. some electrical to obviously set the timer and yeah. things on it? Oh, okay. Um, fancy. Oh, so Wait, you, you're going to. You've not installed it yet. Um, so yesterday I got it working. Oh, okay. So I'm going to buy all the bits that I need. Um, might put down to the garden centre later. Yeah. Um, buy all the things I need, and then I'll be on my way. So that's the big project I'm doing at the moment. Because then once that's done, yeah. Um, I can focus a bit more time. I've got 20 minutes every evening now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, soon that's up though, doesn't it? It does. I think so. You you put it all in, and there'll be a house pipe bomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing it conserves the water a lot more because yeah. it gets to where it needs to be yeah that's true and it's not a hose pipe yeah <laughs> uh, that's true we i mean we've just got a few like i think what out there four plants i think one two three yeah four but we've only we've not got a hose pipe we've got an outdoor tap we've not got well we've not got we've got you like, one need of these one, do you? no well there's nothing yeah there's nothing really to think but we've got like an old old-fashioned watering can but just it, even just doing that takes like that takes. That's why I go, I go around doing a watering yeah. can because I'm able to add the. Um, so I'm gonna have to do that still because I need to add my tomorrow right to feed my plants and yeah. veg. Yeah, you are coming a bit green fingered, aren't you? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I've got tomatoes growing, the lettuce, rocket, cabbage, yeah. kale, broccoli. Uh, what else was there? There's some other things: strawberries, raspberries. Oh wow! And there's two more things I can't remember that I planted the other day. Oh, and mm. a pumpkin. And a pumpkin. Yeah. Is that ready for will that be Halloween kind of thing? Yeah, it's, it's obviously not started yet. But, yeah, yeah. Well, it has started. All the leaves are coming out. But oh, okay, are you yeah. preparing for a nuclear apocalypse or something? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to get like this cost of living crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Next year, we'll be having like solar panels mounted, and yeah, if you ever have a salad around the house, it'll be made from all the stuff in the <laughs> kale. That's one of them. Kale, kale, kale as well. Okay. Um, have you have, have, have any of these grow like? Pick, you've picked them yet, or yeah, they're just yeah. sort of starting? Yeah, yeah. Mainly the lettuce and yeah. um, rocket. Okay. The strawberries are close, and the tomatoes are close. Yeah, okay. I, I mean, the only thing I've ever grown is chilies. I've still got loads in the freezer that I've just... Really? I just I've just grown too many then that I needed. And so mom, I mean, I still need to do it. Mum suggested sort of drying them out and then putting them in the oven and sort of kind of baking them. And then that sort of kind of makes... Um, you know, like dried chilies you get yeah. like in... Cause we, I mean, I put chili and everything. Like, yeah, dried chili. chili. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, after your thing with the chili and mm-hmm. you, get, you said you're getting a little better though with it. A little bit, yeah. I'm trying to ease my um, palate back up. Okay, yeah, mm, fair enough. But, uh, but yeah, so oh, I look forward to coming around and having a vegetarian salad at yours. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get some chickens next. <laughs> well, yeah, Lauren's dad's got chickens. Oh no, hens. It's hens that lay eggs, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But then they bought. They ended up buying one because I didn't realise there's, there's all there's like loads of stuff like. It's not just like you just buy the chicken or hens. You, like you have to buy them together because if, if you're then to buy a sink, like another one, they yeah, have like a pack mental. Yeah. And they had one that was bullying all the other ones. So they had to, yeah, they ended up having to kind of capture it. And it's the point where the others won't like, come out if that one was there. Really? They're, like, petrified of it. Um, so yeah, they ended up buying, and they ended up sending it back to wherever it came from. Not a chicken, like a butcher's or anything. <laughs> um, yeah, these ones are like rescued, like rescued chickens or something like that. 
Well, I keep saying chickens are hens. Um, What's the difference? Chickens, like the overall term. Yeah. But roost, yeah, maybe, because then you've got roosters. A rooster's male. Rooster's male and hens. hens. Yeah. yeah, that was it. Yeah, because then in Chicken Run, your favourite film. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's Chicken Run, but they're hens and they bring a rooster in. Yeah, yeah. so just chicken. Yeah, are, we, are we idiots for not knowing that? <laughs> no, I think so. Well, you know what I'm like with animals. So. Yeah, very true. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was it. They bought it wasn't a, it was a rooster that like Lauren's dad just goes and buys stuff for it. And a they, rooster. So they bought a rooster to lay egg. Well, they, I don't know if they'd not realised it was a rooster or what, but they're not thinking they realised it was a rooster and it wasn't a hen and it was like But your neighbours love that. Well <laughs> yeah, I mean I don't, they live at the back of a, an A road, they've got an English bull terrier, and then there's these hens running around. I thought, God, I'd, I'd hate to do that. You've got some massive like monster of a dog. I mean the dog is actually you've met the dog, yeah. it's absolutely lovely, but yeah, it looks a bit fierce and it's always sniffing around. And yeah, you've got the constant, they live at the back of a motorway, so there's a constant noise of cars coming. And where they live, it's the point where, where you change gear. So yeah, it, it is. makes it even louder. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and, and to annoy them sometimes, I'll honk my horn as I'm going past that. Yeah, yeah, I've done it a few times. Um, yeah, but anyway. <laughs> well, I think that concludes the first episode of the podcast. Oh, really? Yeah. Time's flown by in there. Yeah, that's flown by. I mean, we've mainly talked about barbecues. Yeah, but... not the past. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it. Well, hopefully by the time we do the next one, I'll, no, it'll be ready. And Actually, yeah. I, I think I should get some sort of um, no format required. Oh, you should have a recording light. Ah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. Like a red. Like a <laughs> It'd red be only one. for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think when once it's up and running, yeah, that's I think um, what we'd like to do is... Um, Record a episode, well, four episodes from here. Yeah. Obviously, having a drink or two. But yeah. It's eleven o'clock in the morning currently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've only had the uh, Coke Zero and water. Yeah. Um, but we'd like to record an episode and they having a few drinks. Yeah. Um, maybe having some guests come in. Yeah. And maybe we'll actually film it as well, like yeah. instead of just recording it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we could send like stand a camera up in exactly. the corner. I'll come and sit. Oh, well, over there that gets yeah. both on to. So um. I think that'd be an idea for yeah, when yeah. it's actually all up and running this summer. Yeah. I'd, I'd be quite interested. Before we do that, we'll put a post out before we film it. And I'd like our listeners to like, well, the ones that don't know Paul. what we look like. Um, <laughs> yeah, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be interested to see what Paul thinks what we look like. <laughs> um, but yeah, the listeners that like, don't know what we look like, just to put a little description of what, of what they think we look like. Because... Like, you know, you listen to people on the radio, like, you just get a complete, you get your image, but if you don't know what they look like, you get, like, an image of what yeah. you think in their head, so it'd be interesting just to see what people think. I mean, they might have already, they might have, well, Stalked us. Yeah, they could have stalked us, mm. I suppose. They know my middle name now, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, He's on nice. OnlyFans, by the way, guys. I am, yeah, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's that money. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, no, thank you for listening, and we shall see you next week. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.